Dank. Holiday, we're serving 80s glamour looks and the reason for the season is Thanksgiving that's right me and my daughters are throwing a cute little Thanksgiving potluck with our chosen family so while we start on this honey glaze for our honey glazed chicken dynasty could you preheat the oven to 350 and gotcha. check on the turkey thank you so much and kitty will be helping us make our glaze yes. so the way we start we're going to combine Brown sugar. Can you Ooh. grab the pot real quick? Let me get the pan. Mm -hmm. Brown sugar. A little bit of brown you sugar. can't pick it up. It's very hard. But brown sugar. Um, work. <laughs> um, we're also going to mix in some honey. Some infused honey. Infused, baby. What is this, honey? Ooh. Is that a spatula? Mm. I got it. We love honey here. Yes. And then you want to add some orange juice, you know, one third cup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, got a little pulp in it. That's so sexy. Citrusy. Very sexy. And then we want to add some zest. Mm -hmm. So, Kitty, could you take this and just zest the back? Oh, ooh, actually, the big one. Give me the big yeah, one. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh. So zest her down. Ooh, ooh. Anything coming out? Hello. The f Are you using the right side? And nothing coming out. I'll do Maybe the big that one. Side? Let's do the big one. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, some zest. Now we're cooking. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and throw some cloves in there. Oh, there it is. And it already has the mustard in there. Mm. All right, so we're gonna take that. We're gonna stir it a little bit, let it simmer. Mm hmm mm hmm You get a little. Yeah, just break it up a little bit. Ooh. Yeah. So this glaze is not only just for chicken and ham and protein. If you are vegan, vegetarian, you can totally use it on other things. It's just honey glaze, baby. Put it on anything that honey tastes good on. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, mmm. So now that we have that all stirred up, could you put that on the oven? Got it. And we're gonna let that simmer for 10 minutes. Hey, baby. Do you put things on the oven? Stove. <laughs> Whatever. I, was, I, was like, I mean, it's on top of the oven. Let's be real. It's on. It's on the oven. So, kitty, mm. come up here. Tell the audience what's been going on. This is my second born kitty. Everyone, Hi. tell the audience what you're about, where you're from. Give them your tea. Well, I'm from a small little town in central Illinois. You know, surrounded by cornfields. Love it. Just a little city girl with big city dreams. That's Cute. why I'm here. That's why we're here. You know. Um, she just currently moved to Chicago. Sure did. And on top of that, just started doing drag full time. Absolutely. The, uh, Kitty actually was uh, the founder and creator of Tumblr's Drag Race. Oh my god, not Yes! This. Please tell them about Tumblr's Drag Race. Well, I, when I first started doing drag when I was 15 years old in tiny little Ottawa, Illinois, Obviously, you ain't got nowhere to do drag if you're 15, so I had to make way on the internet, and there had been no, like, internet competitions at that point. This was roughly around, I'd say, season four of Drag Race. It was pretty early on. It didn't have a huge following, so, like, we decided to throw something together, me and, like, two other friends, and then, like, it went on for, like, ten seasons, three all-stars, like... So many like really talented drag artists have done it. Like people have gone on to Dragula from it and like have done like amazing things. So like yeah, Tumblr's drag very race was sickening. the moment. So when Tumblr like shut down, what did that do for you? Well, I was old enough to go out by that point. Oh, okay. Period. So I was so good. We were out there. We were out there. Once Tumblr was done with uh, what it was done with, um, it was gone. <laughs> Cease to exist. <laughs> I just remember. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so go ahead and check on that glaze mm -hmm. one more time. We're gonna see what that's looking like. Ooh. I don't know what that's looking like. What's it looking like? It's, like, <laughs> it's looking glazy. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. We're going to take our chicken, mm -hmm. which you can have anything, but we're gonna have a chicken. Ooh. And we're gonna put some glaze on this. You're gonna take half of your glaze. We're gonna baste her. Ooh. We're gonna baste her. Come on, baby. Get your little brush. You dip it in. Ooh, mmm, mmm, mm, glazy, mmm, ooh, citrusy glaze. 
Oh, on it. Mm. Oh, it's so glazy. It's dripping. Oh. Mm. Mm, I can smell the currants. Mm. I can smell the infusion. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> It's giving honey. Mmm, that's looking good, guys. It is. Wait, you gotta get... I'm gonna get all of it. Come mm -hmm. on now, I gotta get in the crevices. Right, the cracks, the crevices, the curves, and the swerves. Make okay. it nasty. Mm hmm Make it nasty. Mm hmm Come on, we gonna get the side. Get the back. She got a little tan on her. Ooh, oh, careful now. Girl. This is the Dynasty Banks original. Period. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That looks hot. She's looking nice and glazed. Mm -hmm. Scrumptious. Oh, we put the glaze on it. Yeah. And then we're gonna take. We dressing her back up? It, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. oh my God. Gonna put the foil back on. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna throw her in the oven real quick. Dynasty, is the oven heated to 350? It is. My oven's heated to 350. Oh my God, mm -hmm. thank you. Oh, oh. Oh. There we go. Mm. So. Yep. There you go. There you go. Nail down. And we'll be back after I put my nail back on. So, for my meat lovers out there who don't like chicken, first of all, you're weird. But if you don't like chicken, we can try some infused gravy. My daughter Dynasty is here to help us with that. So let's let's get it started, baby. How do we do this? Alright, so first you're gonna start with your butter. Well, first you're gonna start with the pot, because you can't just make the shit on the stove. Period. And then in the pot that's hot, Dr. Seuss. Yeah. You're gonna melt your butter, okay? So you're gonna get your butter melted. Damn, I need a spoon. Does anybody have a spoon? I, I can just use my fingernail. In this kitchen, that's definitely mine. Oh yeah. Um I might have one. Does this work? Sure! <laughs> so you're gonna grab your spatula. And then you're gonna put your infused butter or your not infused butter into the pot. Mm. And, you're, and you're gonna get that nice and melted. <laughs> you're gonna get that nice and melted, bring that to a low simmer, but you don't wanna burn your butter because no one likes burnt butter, all right? Truly. So once you get your butter going, right, then we're gonna add our flour, okay? We're gonna add our flour, we're just gonna sprinkle that in, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Okay. Mm, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Here we are. Mm. And we're gonna mix that together. All right. Now here's the important step. Once you get that simmering, it is important to cook off the flour taste from the butter for your gravy, or else it's just gonna taste real, real yeasty, real bready, real flour. Oh yeah, sure. We can go ahead and get it going. Yeah. Come on now. Flat bag. Get that going on the stove. Let's not blow up. All right, so we're gonna get that going on the stove, nice and mixed, nice and combined. Let me know when you have that ready, Miss Banks, Kool-Aid. Yeah. All right, and then with that, next we're gonna take over our salt and our pepper, right? Season your shit, please. Please season your food. Mm. All right, we're gonna sprinkle in a little pepper. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle in a little salt, not too much, because y'all have enough. <laughs> mm. Good. Let me know when you get that going. So while that's also like blending, Dynasty, yes. could you tell the audience about yourself and how we met? Oh wow, that's an, that's an experience. So for those of you who don't know, I and Mandy, we are from Houston, Texas, and we met in high school. Um, she was in theater, I was in band, and we both did musicals together, and she actually is the reason why I got into acting and drag and all of this. So I have her to blame, mm -hmm. period. Big per. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dynasty is also my best friend of, I don't know, what, 12 years. Um, she's also my drag daughter, obviously. The resemblance. Come on now. Uncanny. Um, we actually started drag, what, like, six months apart. So it was really babies raising babies. Like, we were in the same, like, Very baby team mom energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but that's my queen, you know? She always hold me down. She always keep me real. Okay, so once we have this all melted and nice and going in the pot, we're gonna take our drippings, mm, our drip, drip, drippings. What are drippings? Drippings, depends on the context. Oh so God. these drippings <laughs> are from the turkey, okay? So this is what's rendered from all that nice, fat, thick, fat from the turkey, all right? Okay, so right. we take this from the pot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And once we have this, can you go ahead and stir that for me, get yeah, that stirring? Sure, sure, sure. Good, and then we're gonna add this into the pot nice and slowly, mixing it on up. Mm. A mix, 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 mm. So good. So drippy, so drippy. I'm gonna put this in the sink. 
and we're gonna get that nice and combined. And we're gonna bring that to a low simmer and put a lid on it. And that's how you make gravy, y'all. Mm, with my baby. Baby gravy? Yeah. Hot. Brown gravy? What? Is it brown gravy? Isn't all gravy brown? I don't know. Hmm. Right.